Hello everyone, I'm Chen Yuan from Jindong Company. Today I will introduce our work, a semi-supervised uh, multi-channel graph convolutional network for query classification in e-commerce. Uh, I will introduce our work in the following order and uh, start from the background. E-commerce applications such as uh, Amazon, Taobao, and Jindong usually organize their uh, products by categories cover as many product types as they can. They have nearly 10,000 leaf categories. Query intent classification is a task to classify the categories of products that customers require, which can be defined as a multi-label classification task. Most existing methods rely on the user's click behavior as a supervised signal to construct the training samples. One major problem is the category imbalance in the training data, where long-tail categories are hard to uh, obtain traffic and user clicks, and even worse for new categories. The second problem is the posterior label of the query uh, is unstable due to the randomness of the user clicks. For example, when a user searches for uh, earphones, he clicked the labels such as uh, headset and second headset. Uh, another user inputs a similar query such as what earphones. The clicked labels may change to the Bluetooth earphones or gaming earphones. Even though the categories of, of the what ear of the headset and the second headset also offer what earphones, they are not clicked by the customers that's not presented as the label set of the quad earphones. Uh, uh, this insta instability makes the model very sensitive to the input, leading to uh, an incomple incomplete recall of categories. Uh, to address the problems, we should enhance the model's percep perception of the e-commerce knowledge and reduce its, its dependency of the posterior feedback. There are two key challenges should be solved. The first is how to re reduce the main model's dependency on the posterior data. We can uh, we can import the prior knowledge of the categories, such as the category semantic knowledge, um, call occurrence and, and the semantic similarity relations of different categories. The second is how to encode this such prior knowledge into the model. We design new model structure and loss. It, loss. We propose a multi-channel uh, GCN to learn the complex relations and, des and design a semi supervised loss to enhance the posterior labels. For model design, first construct the co-occurrence graph by conditional probability of the categories and construct a semantic similarity gr graph by cosine similarity of the categories. Then we normalize and stack both adjacency matrix and use a multi-layer GCN to learn the category embeddings. For loss design, we trace the relevant scores between query and all categories as the semi-supervised label. Then we add the, add the semi-supervised label with the posterior data and use both for model op optimization. To evaluate uh, the effectiveness of the model, we can we conducted a series of ex experiments on two large-scale datasets connect connected from the user click logs on the Jinjo app application. For offline evaluation, we use some metrics that usually use in multi-label classification, such as the macro and the micro precession recall and F1 score. For online evaluation, we use some business metrics such as the UV value, UCR, and the UCTR. We compare the models with several baselines, such as uh, uh, multi-level text classification methods, uh, query and the query classification methods. Compared with them, the model achieves significant Im improvement for F1 score. This confirms that using, on, using the complex relations and semantic sim 
uh, similarity between queries and categories is beneficial to overcome the limitations of the posterior data. We, uh, when removing the sim uh, similarity graph and the, the performance drops a little on both data sets. A similar phenomenon can be seen after removing the co-occurrence graph, indicating that both uh, graphs indeed contain, contain actual, actual information that is neglected in the posterior data. After removing this uh, module, three modules, the micro and macro F1 decay about 8%. This, is re this result further demonstrates that all of these components provide com complementary information to each other. After offline evaluation, we deploy the model online to reduce the latency, we distill the bird from 12 layers to 4 layers and export the category embeddings produced by the GCN and compute the dot product uh, between query and the category for classification. In this way, uh, we can deploy the model without adding any additional computation and latency compared with the uh, online model. After deployment, we survey it with 10% uh, traffic for A-B testing and refer, referring to the table, we can say that um, by increasing the recall rate of the relevant categories, more related uh, products are retrieved and make, making users click and buy more products, leading to user and uh, user value improvement. As the sub-modulars of the model are removed, the online performance continues to decline, which further confirms the effectiveness of the model. In this paper, we propose a novel strategy that explicitly extends the category information and analyze the similarity score between the query and category to augment uh, the posterior label. And we design an effective modular to encode the complex relations among categories and the semantic relevance between query and categories into the model. And we validate the effectiveness of the model and it for, by uh, extensive offline and online experiments. In future work, we will explore the use of external knowledge such as the hierarchy of categories and product information to comprehensively model the category representation. Thank you for your listening.